Very good, very good. How do we know whether or not this is true? You want to deal with it? Yeah, you want to go? Go ahead. You're talking about the 12 tribe chart. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 15. Then get second answer is 13. Now, first of all, we have to understand how do we identify who is an Israelite. After that, we're able to identify who is which tribe. You understand? Go ahead. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Go ahead. Good. It shall come to pass. Sorry. Read verse 46 first. Go ahead. Verse 46. Take your time. So we're going to understand how, how do we know who's an Israelite? Who's the son of God and who's not? Go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 46. Go ahead. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. So they shall be upon thee, the Israelites, for a sign and for a wonder. What's that day? Read verse 15. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So we're going to understand what's that sign and what's that wonder that we're able to identify who's an Israelite. Because what's a sign? What's a sign? When you're driving, you know that you at uh at uh Pratt Street or whatnot. You understand? What identifies that you're in a hospital or a bus stop? The sign. So this thing that God is talking about, this shall be a sign and a wonder that we're able to know who's an Israelite and who's not. Go ahead. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So if we do not keep God's commandments, what will happen? Go ahead. That all these curses. All these what? All these curses. All these curses. Go ahead. Shall come upon thee. Shall be upon the Israelites. Go ahead. And overtake thee. Meaning a certain, the Israelites shall be in a certain condition. And that condition shall let us know, shall identify who are the Israelites. Read verse 16. Verse 16. No, what? Read verse 68 first. Come on. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. God said the curses shall be a sign. So one of the signs, we're going to read one. The Lord, go ahead, shall bring the Israelites. Go ahead. Into Egypt again with ships. God said, God will bring the Israelites into Egypt again with ships. What does it mean in the Bible, Egypt? Now, country how Egypt. did is, is how, yes? How did the Israelites get to Egypt the first? When you read in Exodus, how did Israel get into Egypt? Yes. How? What means of transportation? Was it by boat? Was it cruise ship? We took a plane? It was by foot. Why? Because we were already in the land of Canaan. Ham. Africa. You understand? So we walked to Egypt. So we just left Egypt right now. We're reading in the book of Deuteronomy. Moses is speaking to the nation of Israel. You understand? They're in the wilderness. Would we have to take a ship to Egypt? No. We would have walked to Egypt. You understand? So this is letting us know that Egypt is not the physical location Egypt. This Egypt is another Egypt. So we're going to read out the Bible. What does the word Egypt mean? Exodus 20, verse 22. Exodus 20, verse 2. Go ahead. I am the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the land of Egypt. Go ahead. Out of the house of bondage. Out of the what? House of bondage. The word Egypt is synonymous for what? House of bondage. Egypt. The house of bondage means what? What does that mean? If I put you in bondage, right? Slavery. You understand? Just go back. Go ahead. I am the Lord that, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So God said to the Israelites, the 12 tribes, you will go into slavery with what? What means the transportation, Paul? With ships. With ships. Was it a cruise ship? Nah, nah, so the Israelites, a sign that will let us know who's the Israelites, that they will go into slavery on ships. Let's look at historically. Where's the sign at? Is it back there? Who historically went into slavery on ships, Paul? He did. Black people. Exactly. 1619. 1492. You understand? What about Argentinians? They ain't Yes, they did. Yes, they did. When you read historically, when you read historically, the Native Americans, Puerto Ricans, they went to slavery on ships. When Christopher and the King, they were the first slaves on ships. Keith, then what, uh, 
when the conquistadors, when they arrived on Quisqueya, Boricuan, that's Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic today. They took the ships there and shipped them to Europe. You understand? You ever seen the movie Uncle Tom? Goodbye, Uncle Tom? It shows that. It shows the Native Americans, the Taino Indians, in, in slavery. You understand? But we so, we're so uh, taught in school that only the blacks went into slavery. No. All 12 tribes went into slavery. On ships. You understand? Yes, and? They're not, they not suffering like we suffering. Oh, yes, they are. Give me, Joe, give me, give me Deuteronomy 16. So, give me 32 right there. Deuteronomy 28, 32. Go ahead. So, what's going on with Trump and in, in, uh, so-called Hispanics? You know what's going on with Trump and the so-called Hispanics? What's going on? You ever heard of DACA? They're deporting children, Hispanic children, even though they were born here, they're deporting them. And their parents, you understand that? Let's see if that's according to the Bible. Go ahead. Deuteronomy 28, verse 32. Go ahead. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. What? Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. The conquistadors. And what Trump is illustrating, uh, putting today, did the so-called Hispanics go into slavery? I, I just told you last. The conquistadors. They were the first. 1492. Dominican Republic was the first colonization of the Western Hemisphere. Way before the blacks, the blacks, we were in Europe, we were known as what? The Moors. You know King James the Sixth of Scotland? He was a black man. He was a Moor. He was the last black king to rule Scotland. He was the last king to go down. You understand? So during that time, while we rule in Europe, the so-called Hispanics, 1492, we were going into slavery. The conquistadors, they let the Cortez, you understand? Hernando Cortez. Then when they landed in North, Central, South America, you understand? What did they do? They enslaved the Taino. They enslaved the Arawak Indians that they saw there. You understand? Read that again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. They're not the Hispanics. Were their children sold, given unto another people? Yes, they did. They doing that today. Hispanics are fulfilling that prophecy today. White man saying, hey, get your children, and your children gonna go to another country where they never were. You understand? Go ahead. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. That our people, the so-called Hispanics, when they were destroyed, you understand? How many Native Americans alone? It was 100 million estimated. Uh, they can't even count. Estimated. This is the white man estimated. I say it's more. Whatever number white men give us, we gotta multiply it by like 10. You understand? They say 100 million Native Americans alone were destroyed in North, Central, South America. You understand? Our people are suffering the curses today. You understand? Go to Numbers 15, 38. Numbers 15, 38. I know we suffering. That, that's the damn truth. I know that. Numbers 15 verse 38. So the Jamaicans and, and the Haitians, they not Israelites. They have their own country. Yeah, they suffer, but Colombians, I, I mean, Hold up, but you said, but hold up, hold up now, hold up. You said they have the Hispanics are not suffering because they have their own country. Jamaicans and his and Haitians, they have their own country. Are they not Israelites? Well, I don't know. That's Only the Negroes in America. They were, let me say this. The first ships from slavery went into Brazil. More slaves went to Brazil than North America, than the Americas. So the Brazilians, are they Israelites? They fulfill that curse, Deuteronomy 2868. You see, this is history that you don't know. The Brazilians, the Hispanics, they're Israelites. They fulfill that prophecy, that sign that we will go into slavery on ships. But, hold up, hold up, hold up, but black people here in America, we're only taught, oh, only, only the Negro in America, we're divided. Jamaican, Haitians, we're different people. American black and Puerto Ricans, we're different people. No, we are one people. We are children of the slave trade. You understand? Numbers 15, verse 38. Go ahead. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes 
in the borders of their garments. Who has fringes and borders on their garments? Historically. Give me second Exodus 13. We're going to go right back. We got to do the same lesson again. Who had fringes in a border blue on their garments? Historically. Which is a law. The natives wear. Where? Which is what? Which is where? North, Central, South America. The Aztecs, the Incas, which is the Mexicans and whatnot. You understand? The, which is the tribe of Zebulon, the tribe of Issachar, the tribe of Asher. You understand? They had they had that Israelite custom. You understand? Go ahead. Second Ezra, 13, verse 40. Because the confusion is, why is the blacks, we were in Europe at that time, and how did the Israelites, if the, the Hispanics, they got to North, Central, South America? If we're the same people. This is what happened. I'm telling you, you don't know history. Go ahead. Those and that ain't to insult you or nothing like that. No, no, no. You understand? Go ahead. The, those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners uh -huh. out of their own land uh -huh. in the time of Hosea the king. When you read the Bible, you, you ever read the Bible for the time of Kings? First Kings, uh, chapter 11, first Kings 12. What happened? The split of Israel. All Israel were under King David, King Solomon. You understand? Then King uh, uh, Rehoboam, King Solomon's son, he came into power. During that time, 1 Kings 12, that's when the nation of Israel split into two kingdoms. That's why we're reading about 10 tribes here, which is 12 tribes, which is Ephraim on down. Let's get to it. 1 Kings 11, 1 Kings 12. Hold that. Let's go into the split. We're going to show you. We have to, you have to understand the Bible. When you look at, when you read the Bible, historically, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, they became seven kingdom. They were known as the kingdom of Judah. You understand? This is, which is the so-called blacks today. Now, Ephraim on down, they were known as the ten tribes, which we're reading here in 2nd Exodus 13. They were known as northern kingdom, or the kingdom of Israel. A lot of times when you read the Bible, it says the kingdom of Judah and the kingdom of Israel. You understand? You with me so far? All right. First Kings 11. Let's read the prophecy first. First Kings 11 and the prophecy. Uh, jump up first. Read 31 is the main point for Northern Kingdom, but I want Southern Kingdom. It says 11. First Kings um, 1 and 11 and 11. Wherefore the 12. Let's just jump to the Verse 12, notwithstanding in thy days I would, would, would not do it for David thy father's sake, but I will rent it out of thy hand of thy son. He's referring to the kingdom. Go ahead. I'm just jumping to the point. Go ahead. How be it, I will not rent away all the kingdom, but will give one tribe to thy son uh -huh. for David my servant's sake. That tribe, God is telling, telling to my, uh, Solomon because you committed interracial marriage. Just read verse 1 to understand what's going on. Hold that. Just jump to verse 1. Because King Solomon, he had wives of the Chinese, the white woman, you understand? The Egypt, uh, the, Egypt uh, the African woman, you understand? God is saying because, hold up, because of that action, I'm going to rend the kingdom out of your hand. Meaning, I'm going to split the kingdom. When you have a shirt and you say, I rend it, meaning well, I'm ripping it, I'm torn it. I'm going to tore the kingdom from your rulership. That's what he's saying here. Why? Read that. First King 11 verse 1. Go ahead. But King Solomon loved many strange women. Strange women refer to what? Strange women of the other nations. The Chinese is a strange woman. That a white woman is a strange woman according to the Bible. Go ahead. Together with the daughters of Pharaoh. The daughters of Pharaoh is what? The Egyptian woman. Go ahead. Women of the Moabites. Moabites in the Bible are the Chinese. Go ahead. Ammonites. Japanese. Go ahead. Edomites. White women. Go ahead. Zidonians. African women. Go ahead. And Hittites. More African women. So because, put, give me Deuteronomy 7 and 3. We jumped around a lot. Get the law for the brother. Brother look confused. So because King Solomon committed the broke Deuteronomy 7 and 3, which is the law on interracial marriage, God said, I'm going to split the kingdom. Go ahead. Deuteronomy 7 verse 3. Neither shall thou make marriages with them. With who? Go ahead. Thy daughter, thy daughter, thy daughters thou shalt not give unto his sons. Meaning what? Who's the thumb? Who's the sons? The sons of the other nations. 
God is saying no mixing. That's a law. That if you see yourself on this tribe, you should not marry a Chinese woman, a white woman. That's out the Bible. Go ahead. Nor his daughter shall thou take unto thy son. Meaning, if you have a son, your son should not marry a woman of a, outside his race. Right. God is saying, stay in your race. No mingling. All these 12 tribes, 12 tribes of Israel, God is saying, stay in here. Read that again. We're going to get to that. Yes, out the Bible. You, got, you, just, you just got to be patient and humble down. Go ahead. This, this is the reason why. Give me... Um, Get me Zechariah 11 verse 14. The issue is we've been divided as a people. At one point in time, we understood that we were all the same people. But when the, when the white man came, what did they do? Conquer and divide. And like the brothers read it earlier, because of the split, there's always been a division. Check this out. Zechariah 11 verse 16. For look, verse 14. Then I cut asunder my other staff. Even banned. So God cut asunder his other other staff. We have the southern kingdom and northern kingdom. Even bands. We were all banded together by the laws. We were all unified as one. Read. That I might break the brotherhood between Judah and Israel. You see? That God might break the brotherhood of Judah, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, and Israel. Ephraim, Manasseh, and all the way down. Give me Acts chapter 15 verse 14. So the Mexicans are also Israelites. They went through the same atrocities that we're going through. They're under oppression as well. They got wiped out by, what is it, not, um, the, was it Diego Velasquez? Yes. But Velasquez, they were, they were massacred. They were had mass genocide committed against them as well. Read that. Acts chapter 15, verse 14. Uh -huh. Simon had declared how God at the first did visit the Gentiles. The Gentiles were Israelites that would go under Gentile names. Those Israelites that would follow the other nations. Read. To take out of them a people for his name. That's what God is doing right now. He said us to take out of us for a people for his name. God is electing people back into his fold. Read. And to this agree the words of the prophets. Read. As it is written. After this, I will return and will build again the tabernacle of David. After this, God says, in the future, I will return and build again the what? The tabernacle of David. Under the tabernacle of David dwelt the 12 tribes. All 12 tribes was unified at one point in time. But because of the division, the hatred between southern kingdom and northern kingdom, we were split. That's why you have blacks saying, oh, those are not my people anymore. Those Damascus are not black people. Check this out. That's in a prophecy. Read it. Which is falling down. He says, I will build again. Read it again. After this, I will return and will build again the tabernacle of David. He must restore David. Why? Because under David, were all 12 tribes was united. Read. Which is falling down. Because we fell as a nation. We were split. We were conquered, we were divided, we were split until we, and to the point that we were unrecognized as a people. We don't even recognize each other as a people. You have not even blacks and Mexicans are divided, but you have blacks are divided from West Indians. They say, yeah, Yankee boys, we ain't proud of you. You have Haitians are divided by Jamaicans as well as um, blacks. You have Arabs, uh, um, Dominicans. Dominicans look just like you as, my, as well as myself. But they say, we know black, we know black. But look at them. They look just like us. You have Mexicans are darker than you. Darker than you that look like me. A, a lot. Not some. A lot. The ones that you see is the ones that they put on TV or in America. But you go to, in Mexico, there's something called Afro-Mexicans. There's a whole community of blacks out there. Read. And I will build again the ruins there, thereof. And I will set it up. Because a lot of times, our Negroes here in America, we associate ourselves color. You understand? Go ahead. Hosea, Hosea 7 verse 8. Ephraim, he have mixed himself among the people. Read that again. Hosea 7 and 8. Go ahead. Ephraim, Ephraim, which is the kingdom of what? Northern kingdom. The ten tribes which we were reading in second Ezra. We're going to go back to that. Go ahead. He have mixed himself among the people. He had mixed himself among the people. What does that mean? Meaning what? At Paul, come closer. Meaning what? Children? Right. Interracial marriage. 
When you mix yourself among, yes, say, I say your dark skin brother, yes, say you mix yourself with a white woman or a Chinese, would your son come out literally looking just like you? No. What what type of traits he's gonna have? Right. He gonna he might have the squinty eyes. He might have a little. He might come out a little bit lighter. He might have your hair, maybe. You understand? They're gonna be mixed. That's what happened with the ten tribes. They didn't keep their dark skin. You understand? They didn't keep that that woolly hair. Why? Read it again. Ephraim, he had mixed himself among the people. Because of interracial marriage, because of mixing. Go ahead. Ephraim is a cake not turned. Ephraim is a cake not turned. Read that. This is our Wikipedia about Afro-Puerto Ricans. Here it says, the majority of the conquistadors and farmers who settled the island had arrived without women. Many of them intermarried with the blacks or Tainos. They're mixed race descendants from the first generations of the early Puerto Rican population. So, so even though they mixed themselves over there, our skin color what, changed. You understand that? Does that mean the Puerto Ricans aren't our people? Because when they first arrived to what, Boricuan, which is Puerto Rico, they were what, dark skin? You got the page, the first one? Yeah. As we have said, the island of Hispanola Hispaniola, which is uh, Dominican Republic, Hispaniola, go ahead, was the first to witness the arrival of Europeans. For Hispaniola, Dominican Republic, was conquered 1503. Christopher Columbus starts his voyage 1492. This is way before blacks were in slavery. Go ahead. And the first to suffer the wholesale slaughter of its people. Meaning the first, because what, 1492 began the transatlantic slave trade, in a sense which the blacks entered into what, 1619. But it all started, the, con the conquest of the Israelites started, the downfall of the Israelites started around the same time. Two years, 100 years uh, span period. Go ahead. And the devastation, 100 years, sorry, 100 year, 50 year period, 200 year period. Go ahead. And the devastation and depop depopulation. Depopulation meaning what? Mass genocide happened to the what? The Hispanics, not just the blacks. Read, read the title, of the, read the cover of the book. This is Bartomla de, de la Casa, a short account of the destruction of the Indies. This is one of the, the navigators, the, the brothers that came with Christopher Columbus, and he witnessed the atrocities that happened in Hispaniola, Dominican Republic. You understand? And he wrote the accounts thereof. All right? Well, the brother gained that. Read uh, sec, uh, Hosea 7 and 8 again. Hosea 7 verse 8. Go ahead. Ephraim, have, he have mixed himself among the people. Well, how? When did that happen? Assyrian captivity and also what? When the white man came, the conquistadors. You understand? They raped all women. Go ahead. Ephraim is a cake not turned. You ever made pancakes in the morning? If you cooking pancakes, you leave it there. You don't flip it. It's a cake not turned. One side is going to be what? The side touching the oven, the pan, is going to be what? Brown. The pan, up, the, the cake up top is going to be what? Right. Very, meaning what? Ephraim, Northern Kingdom, is going to vary in what? Complexion. Just like what the officer said. You have some Mexican that's very dark skin, have Afros. Some Mexicans, they're very uh, uh, light skin. They look like the conquistadors. You understand? Jeremiah 14.9. Okay, speckled, speckled uh, bird, 12 and 9. All right? So we cannot go by complexion because the prophecy said what? Ten tribes of Israel is going to be what? Rary in complexion. You understand? So we can't go by looks. If you, if you have a son with a white woman, is he an Israelite? But even though he might, yesterday he come out looking like his, his mama. Yesterday he looked Chinese. Exactly. Why? Because you are who your father is. The lineage is by what? The father. You understand? He would be an Israelite, but will he look like a typical Israelite? Will he look like a dark-skinned brother like this brother here or this brother here? No. Why? Because you mixed yourself. Same thing will happen with the ten tribes. That's why, you understand, they looked what? Some uh, Hispanics, they got the chinky eye during, before the white man came. Why? Because in Hosea was what? What time period was Hosea? Assyrian captivity. You understand?
That's why they came with the straight hair, you understand? The, the high cheekbones and whatnot, you understand? Because they mixed themselves. Then they mixed themselves some more with who? The Conquistadors, 1492. All right? Go, yes, go ahead. Hold up, brother. You ain't going nowhere. No, no, no. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. You ain't going nowhere. Jeremiah. You ain't going nowhere. Jeremiah chapter 12, verse 9. My heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. So, the brother said, like what the brother was saying, officer was saying earlier, Israel is a speckled bird, brother. Israel was a speckled bird. You understand that, brother? Like this brother. This brother is a Gadite. I would have never thought. I thought this brother was Judah. You understand? Israel, we do not, we vary in complexion. You understand? Right, this brother. You understand? Go ahead. Read it again. Yes. Jeremiah 12, verse 9. My heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. The birds round about are against her. Come. Hold on, hold on. Give me a little bit. 21 and 5. Brother man, Paul, you got a shaved head, right? Now you understand your Israelite. Before you go, Hold up, that's why you ain't going nowhere. I ain't, give, I ain't giving you a pound yet. You got to get this last verse. Hold up. Leviticus chapter 20, 21 verse 5. They shall not make boldness upon their head. You're an Israelite, right? I don't shave my head. Oh, you didn't shave your head? What are you talking about? You didn't take the razor? No. What, you plucked your hair? I used the three razor, three rings. Same thing, same thing. That's the same thing, brother. God said don't shave your head. Well, where were we at for the book? Leviticus 21 verse 5. They shall not... Know that? Leviticus 21 verse 5. Go ahead. They shall not make boldness upon their head. You made, However way you make boldness on your head, guess what? You made it. Either it's with a razor or the or whatever type of clippers you said you got. But I'm bald anyway. Bald Let it grow. Let it grow. Yes. The law is don't make boldness. Hold up, brother. Stay right here. I gotta go. You got... Hold up. You got a minute. You got a minute. You ain't gonna know it. Go ahead. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Brother, don't shave your beard. You ain't sitting right now. Don't shave your beard, all right, brother? You got the flyer. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org